Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. We're back for the second part of this run through of Saloon Tycoon, the ranch expansion. As you can see, Draco is holding it up over there. And so, uh, this is a prototype, of course, so everything. Well, not everything you see, some of these, these are the main board for the base game, but all of these new things here are prototypes, so it's going to look a lot better, of course, in the actual game. Which you can find, right? if you go to Kickstarter, you can click the link up here to go to the I to go to the Kickstarter page and check it out. And also, if you leave a like or a comment at any time during the video, you know, I really appreciate it, you're really helping the channel out. If this, if this is your first time on the channel, then please subscribe as well, hit the red button down there somewhere. All right, thank you for that, and so let's go going. We are in uh, sort of halfway through the game, I think, and it's my turn. I get my income of seven. Uh, yep, I, I get eight, but I lose one because of that darn outlaw there. And so I get a ranch point, and now I'm up to eight, so I will spend those eight to get myself a bunkhouse, one of these new tiles. So I will get five points when I place it down. So I'll get to 31. So we're keeping, uh, let's check out the points for there. We're really, <laughs> really neck to neck there. And so also the thing is, I was the first player to finish a bunkhouse. So I get the first ranch hand to come work for me and he's worth five points as well. There we go. But those points are scored in the end, of course, because maybe Drak will bribe him and make him move over to him. Oh, by the way, he can't, because it's a ranch hand. This is the uh, only character you can't bribe, so he can't uh, steal it from me. So these five points are actually in, in already in the books. Okay, so it's my turn. I have my seven gold. I will spend three of them to get that last supply cube. And so I will get the Widow Campbell. It's over here somewhere. Here she is. So that's five more points. She can be bribed though. Uh, there we go. And uh, since I finished a small tile, I will get five points. And also, because it was the top floor, I will get a roof, which is four points as well. So I'll get four more points. And I got a new tile. I really like building roofs because that means you get your income goes up as well. So that was my... That was not my turn. I didn't do any tycoon action yet. <laughs> I did free action to get the bank house. I did free action to get by the supply cube to get the roof and the widow. So I need to start thinking about what I should get. Mm, I think I will, I will get another tile. So I'll pay four to get the billiards room and I'll place it up here and so I'll get another income I'm up to 10 well I'll get 9 okay so that was my turn Draco he has 6 in income and he let's see he gets one ranch point uh, let's see I mean he's going for the ranch points of course hmm and none of us have bought these uh, water throws, but I mean they cost five ranch points, so we haven't really gotten around to it. Um, there's so much other things to spend them on. So I think he will get, his main action will be to pay six to get himself a guest room all the way up here, which means he gets another income. Yeah, and then as his free action, he will uh, discard the Homesteader card here to get another ranch point. So he's up to 10 again, so he goes down to zero, but he gets four of these ranch cubes. And so he finished this tile, so we get seven points. And he will also get two, two secret claims, and we get to choose one of them. So let's see, he gets curb appeal have tile in all lots along one side of your play board that's not really ah it's not that easy for him uh or you can get eavesdropping have finished fill bottom and a guest room above the brothel well that's really impossible because he just built the guest room there oh he has to go with this one maybe he can finish it i don't know but it's not really he didn't, he didn't really get lucky there. I mean, none of those were really perfect for him. 
so okay. But uh, also he gets to place a new tile up here. I think he will go for the trophy room, which is uh, he gets ten gold when he finishes it, and that could help him in building over here. So he's finished that mission, and that's a tile, so he gets another income. And so that was his turn. Yeah. Okay, so it's my turn. I get nine. Which is really nice. Starting to um, really get some good money here. I get a ranch point. And um, what am I going to do? So my missions are finished and I'm working on. Hmm. I got the bunkhouse. If I can, I will try to at least get the ranch upgraded and then sell the horse that I get. Well, I can choose an animal, but I get the horse because they pay more. Um, so then I don't want to have Hawkeye Harriet because she lowers, I don't know. Uh, I think I will spend... Hmm, I think I need to get some uh, supply cubes, so I'll spend uh, nine for three. It's so expensive when you have the Phineas Philbottom guy. Uh, so I'll get three cubes and I'll get them to, I think this is more important right now, I get the billiards room. So uh, I will get an extra action when I finish that one, except, I mean, I also get the points, which is the most important thing. So Draco, he will get his income of eight. And we'll get the ranch point. And he's just, he wants those cows now. Uh, that's what he's going for. Mm. Yeah, he will pay this prosperity. So he'll get four supply, or four ranch points. I'll get one. And since he has Hawkeye Harriet, the cow costs him uh, four, so he goes down to one, and he has another cow. So he's almost done with his missions here. So... Let's see, I think he will... His, his main action will be to draw two Tycoon cards. No, by the way, he played the card. That's <laughs> That was his main action. Okay. So he done all that, so should he... Yeah, of course, he will spend eight gold get four supply cubes and finish his guest room which means he gets to draw a card and play it well play a card but he doesn't have any other cards now so um so let's see he's up to 46 and now he gets to draw a card and he gets to play it if he wants to and why not well he doesn't get a supply cube because he can't put it anywhere but he gets two more ranch points so next time he will be able to get his cow his last cow Alright, so it's my turn, and I get 9 in income, and the game is coming to an end, we don't have that much, uh, that many uh, supply cubes left, so I gotta think about that as well, and um, maybe this bowl isn't that good, I don't know, I keep uh, having trouble drawing the gold, I get the range point as well, uh, and I'm just trying to get to 10 to, uh, to get up there. So I will spend uh, I will spend three gold first of all to get the supply cube, finish my billiards room, which gives me seven points. Um, so we're really neck to neck here, really a uh, well balanced game here. Well, uh, then I will go for um, I'll get another action from the billiards room. So I have two actions. My first action is to draw two tycoon cards. Let's see if this will work out. It will actually. So I will, my second act will be to play the progressivity, the progressivity, which means I have to throw away this one because I have Angie. And so I will get two ranch points and another action, which is to draw two cards. And I will do the free action of discarding them and get two more ranch points. So I'm getting there. Okay, so it's Draco's turn. He gets his eight in income. If I can manage to get them from this bowl here. Uh, the bowl doesn't come with the game, of course. It's my invention. Uh, it's not really good. Okay. Uh, and then he gets his ranch point. And now he has four ranch points. He will spend them to get that cow. And the thing is, now he can do a free action. He has these three cows. 
You can do the free action of claiming an op uh, of getting an open claim. Staking a claim, I think it's called. So he has three cows, he has a kitchen, he will make some burgers. So he scores eight points, which is really nice for him. He's pulling ahead now. Uh, so let's see, what was it? 46, so 54 over there. Uh, he still hasn't done his main action. Hmm. Well, by the way, I am keep forgetting things. Draco should have a roof. Because he finished that tile. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Draco. That doesn't matter. Well, it does, it does matter because he should have gotten one more income uh, this round. So I get it now. And so he should be there. And he should get four points for that as well. There we go. It's easy to forget things when you sort of handle to, to uh, botch. Draco is really just... I mean, he's just chilling out over there. Uh, so what is his main action? Well, he wants to build on one side, right? So he should go for this one. Just make it as cheap as possible, I guess. So um, so pay two gold for the actual spot. And then he can get something for six gold. He will get the pantry. That wasn't as cheap as it could have been. But anyway, pantry is good. Uh, he will get a one point. And then he's ready for the next round to... Yeah, he, he will just try to finish these. Okay, so it's my turn. I get my 9 gold from the lovely bowl. It's, I think it's easier if I do this, if I take the bowl over here. <laughs> take the gold here. And I drop one on the floor, so there we go. Good thing I don't have any pets, so nobody's going to eat it. And so I get one ranch point. I'm almost there. I want to get to 10. I have a lot of gold though, so I think I will buy something. I think I will spend 12. Do I have a guest room? No, I don't. Um, I don't have any laundry. No, I don't. Okay, so I'll spend 12. I'll get the printing press just because it's a character, so I'll put it up here. If I manage to finish this, I will get five more points from having um, Lucy Allen there. So that was that. I can spend three gold to get one supply cube start working on this. I also get a roof, which is uh, points. So Draco, he will get, he's all the way up to nine in income now. That's quite good. And I let's see, he gets a ranch point as well. So he has 10 gold in total. And he will just keep building, of course. So. This bot costs him three gold plus let's say he builds a pharmacy, so that's seven in total. He gets two points. And let's see, have I given him income three, six, nine, ten, eleven? Oh no, I, I missed one income, so we should get it's quite easy to forget uh, that thing. I noticed in my playing group that people always tend to forget to up the income. <laughs> <laughs> when they build a tile. I don't know why that's so hard. Okay. Um, he can actually spend... Yeah, he will spend two gold to start working on his pharmacy here as well. Because that will give him an extra action. And now we only have two more uh, supply cubes to go, so the game's almost over. Uh, so I need to get my things done, I think. Alright, so I have... Uh, I get ten uh, gold. And now I will, I will uh, get one ranch point. I will not spend that gold. I will draw two tycoon cards. Uh, I will get rid of one of them to make it up here. And that means I will get four ranch cubes, ranch supply, whatever it's called. Um, I get seven points over at the point track. So that's uh, 53. And also, I will get to place one of these tiles. So I think I will go for the uh, for the workshop. So when I finish it, I will get five supply cubes. So that's a tile. I get income up, and this goes down to zero, of course. And I get to pick one animal. So I'll pick a horse. Uh, but the thing is, I don't want to have any animals at the end because of my mission that says I don't. I'm not supposed to have any animals. So I'll just sell the horse right away as a free action. Uh, for four gold, so let's see. 
So I have a lot of gold, but uh, not much time left. Should I perhaps finish the game? I think I should. So I need I need nine. So I'll spend nine to uh, get three more supply cubes, and that's the two the last two. And then I will have to dig up one more from the supply uh, box because you're supposed to have all of them. There we go. You're supposed to have a few extra because you can still buy them even though the game's finished. Okay, so that's there. So I will get seven points. Uh, up to 60, but I will get four more because I will get a roof up here as well. And I will get an income, but I don't care about that because uh, the game is over. So that was my... That was not my main action. I still have my main... No, I don't. I drove two coach. <laughs> So I'll, I'll just have to keep this gold. I uh, can't really do any more free actions, can I? I could get cubes for the saloon, but I still would need 12 for that. So okay, I'm done. Uh, I'm happy with my game. And so Draco gets one more turn. That's how it works. Uh, the other players get one more chance. So yes, yeah, so he gets 11 gold. And he gets a ranch point. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he just needs to build a tile over here. That's his goal. So he'll spend four plus six for a pantry. He gets three points. And we are dead even now as well. Uh, so that's ten. And then he has finished all these missions, which is kind of bad for me. He finished three missions. Uh, I didn't think he was going to be able to pull that up, but, but look at this, he got all that side, okay. And I mean, of course, if I was playing against Drac when I see this, I, I know that, oh, okay, he has that mission because it's obvious. So, and I mean, he got further ahead here, he has some animals and so on, so I think he got this. And let's see, he can actually... Um, will that help anything? If he... If he pays... Two to get the supply cube. Let's see. One, two. Yeah, look at this. He can finish the pharmacy, which means he gets five points. And then he has four more gold, and he gets another action from the pharmacy. That's the whole point. So he can spend four gold to get, let's say, the laundry. He can put it up here because it's worth points even if it's not finished in the end. So that was the game, and so we go to the scoring. And what I usually do first is I just double check here. So let's see, Draco has finished one, two, three small, that's 15. Three big, that's 21, so that's 36. Plus a roof, so that's 40. Plus this side here, so that's six more, so that's 46. Plus this, so that's 54. Um, yeah, plus these. Two, so that's 14, 54, 58, 68. Mm, did I miss something? Mm, I don't think so. So, no, he could have gotten points from anything else. So, <laughs> obviously, I'm not good at calculating because he's not at 68. Should be there, okay. Maybe I'm missing something. Tell me in the comment section <laughs> if I'm screwing this up. Okay, I have three. This is easy to count. I have three. That's 21 plus 15. So that's 36, 40, 44, 45. Um, 45, uh, 49, 53, 58. 65, I think I should have 65, hmm, yeah, well, you know what, it doesn't matter, it's, you can double check it, so, <laughs> it was a bit off there, but anyway, so, uh, let's see, and then we go to the, uh, scoring here, so Draco, let's see, how is this, for every unfinished large tile, it doesn't have any like that, but it has Three small ones, that's six points in total. So he'll go to one, two, three, four, five, six. And he has one citizen, so that's five more points. 
And six, and then before we go to the secret claims, let's just go into these animals and so on. So let's see, he has three cows, so that's one point each. That's one horse, that's two more points. Uh, he doesn't have any... no. So that was his points, okay. And then again, we go into the secret claims and he finished all of his, which is kind of amazing. Uh, he have tiles in all lots on one side of the player board down here. So that's eight points. He has four. No, he only has three cows. <laughs> I missed. I took a horse by mistake in the beginning. Oh, I screwed this up. He should have. Oh, he doesn't have four cows. He should. Have, he should have built another animal pen, and they got on a cow there. But there's no room for that. Okay, so he didn't finish that one. But you have Doc Sanders, a cow and a horse. He can do these midnight experiments, which I don't want to know anything more about. So he gets 16 points at least. I mean, he's going to win anyway. Uh, sorry, Drake. Okay, so 85, he's up to 100. Look at that. So he finishes out on 100. Okay, and then it's my score cal calculation. I get, what was it? I get three points for, well, these counts as well, I guess. That's not finished. I think so, so Draco would have three more points. Uh, so let's say he has 103. I have three, six points. So 71. And I have, no, da, 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 I have Citizens. I have a bunch of these, but then again, I get five, 10, 15. 20 minus 5, so I get 15 points from them. So that's 86. And then we go to the claims, which I finished mine. Uh, this one, I didn't have any animals, but I have two animal pens right over here. So that's 8 points. And then I get, I have the sheriff, and I get 3 points per outlaw. And so that's 12, that's 20 points in total. So I'm going to win this. Look at this. So that's 106. I'm so sorry, Draco. I, I screwed it up. You should have. I should have gotten you another cow, of course. <laughs> On the other hand, if I had done that, then I couldn't have finished this side. I would have been able. I, I would have have to focus on this. So I don't know. Uh, and finally, I don't have any animals. So I win by 106 to Draco's 103. So it's really close. I mean, it's really a balanced game. Really even out. So. That was the ranch expansion for Saloon Tycoon and I hope you enjoyed all of this and it was a quite long video in both parts but I hope you stick with me to the end here and if you did please leave a like or a comment tell me in the comment section what you think about this video or if you have any ideas for the channel and so on. So thank you for watching and have a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching this. Don't forget to go to the Kickstarter up here. Well, it's, um, the eye is not up here, but down in the description because the eye was up there in the beginning. Never mind. Thank you for watching. Have a nice evening morning or whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye bye.